channel. So tonight we're gonna be shooting the moon. Okay, we're gonna be taking pictures of the moon and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Let's do it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this beautiful moon that's up in the sky. I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. There's the beautiful moon. Okay. Okay. So, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to give you guys a uh, tutorial basically on how to do this how to set up your Nikon D7000 um, basically it's not too hard um, it's actually easier than you think because of you know the fact that the moon is actually moving so we have to make it quick so it's almost like a daytime shot in a way um, I have a lot of light around me so that shouldn't matter um, <clears throat> I do have some light pollution around me from um, street lights and my house lights, but um, honestly, it doesn't make it much difference because the moon is very bright. It's not a full moon, a full moon, unfortunately, but it is a moon that is bright enough to see and get a great photo of. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so. Starting on my list of items, um, you want to make sure you have a nice sturdy tripod for your shoot. Um, something that's going to hold up your camera. The Nikon T7000 um, has a good amount of weight on it as is. I have the battery pack as well on it. So it definitely adds a little bit more weight, but I want to have the extra battery life. Um, that is a definite that you want. Um, I took some notes <clears throat> just so I can make sure I cover the things I need to cover for you guys, okay? Um, now in this type of photography, you want to, you want to use a lower ISO. And that's because, um, <clears throat> you want to be able to capture, um, the moon and not so much noise um these pictures can get pretty noisy unfortunately um it just depends you know if you use a higher so with the Nikon d7000 it does put off a little more noise it's not a mirrorless camera mirrorless cameras don't put off much noise but um this camera can it is better in low light than older um nikons <clears throat> but it definitely um i love it i love this camera i'm not gonna lie you guys um so let's see oh you also want to make sure you have a a lens that's going to be able to reach your distance that you want so then uh, just remember when you look at the moon you want to be able to see it as large as possible you want to basically put the biggest lens you have on your camera the longest lens so right now I'm using a 70 to 300 um, telephoto lens uh, it, it's pretty good it does a good job um, and it's it's pretty sufficient for me a you want to use an aperture that's gonna do well for you um, I would say f11 works for me um, it, the thing is, it's going to show how much light is in the picture. That's the only thing. So, you can do f11. I would say, um, you could do 7.1, but you remember, you have to adjust your shutter speed. Okay, so your shutter speed basically is how much light you're letting in. So, 
<clears throat> just remember, if you do do that, you have to accommodate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, make sure you're shooting a manual, and I would definitely um, manual focus as well. Um, the easiest way I did it was um, the well, easiest way I saw to do this was look through your viewfinder first and manual focus on the moon okay get it as clear as you can through your viewfinder and then go into live view and um just keep it off autofocus because autofocus will play around too much um you definitely want to be able to get the photo that you want so keep it off um let's see <clears throat> it's really cold out here guys i'm sorry it's a, it's freezing um uh, make sure you're shooting in raw you can shoot in jpeg but if you do make sure you shoot in the highest format of jpeg um raw is uncompressed and you can basically play around with the um depth of field more or not depth of field but the uh uh, that's cold. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Depth of field. Basically, you want to be able to make sure you have the ability to pull out as much light from the high, the lows and darks as you can. Um, it, it's part of that. Um, <clears throat> so definitely do that. My camera just turned off by itself. <laughs> um... Another thing is you want to basically, um, if you are in an area where you have streetlights, don't worry too much. And I already said this before, but you are going to have a, a source of light pollution coming from somewhere unless you're really deep in the desert or in the mountains. Um, if you're in a city and you want to take a picture of the moon, um, you can still get a really good picture you just have to um, use a higher f-stop to kind of alleviate some of that uh, light pollution um, and then later on in post you can basically bring out those highlights that you want from the moon that's what I'm gonna probably do because I do live in an area where there's a lot of light pollution um, <clears throat> not as much as a city city like a huge city but um, enough that's going to cause um, a little bit of problems in my picture so that's okay there you go see now the moon is completely gone the moon moves quite a bit just so you guys know let's see what else I got okay um, so when you do this, you might want to play around with your pictures a little bit to, um, basically see what you can get. Um, it depends on the foreground. You, you know, you can create some pretty cool pictures of the moon. It depends on, um, your background, the foreground, what you have. Um, you know, play around with it. See what you got, you know. The moon is pretty forgiving. It's up there quite a bit, so you can get a lot of different moon phases. Full moon is best because you get the most light. Um, what else? What's on my notes? You know, just try it out. It, it's fun to shoot. Um, I've already gotten quite a bit of pictures of it, but here, you know, it, it's it's good. Let me adjust my camera real quick. <coughs> so. In my camera here, it moved out of the frame because the earth is moving and so is the moon. Let's see if I can adjust this properly. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this picture. Um, I'm already focusing everything. I got my, I have a setting of IS, um, IS, ISO 100. I have F11 and then a shutter speed of 160. Now remember, your shutter speed depends on how much light you want to enter your your lens, and so does your f-stop. Okay, f-stop also means clarity, so how sharp your image is going to be as well. Because if you're using a zoom lens, you definitely are going to have that um, 
um, part in your lens where it's not as sharp. So I, I for my lens, a 7300, I feel that anything between 7.1 and f11 is pretty good. Um, so let's see here. Go ahead and shoot the picture. Oh, and I am using a remote. I am using a... I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on. Let me go ahead and shed some light on this. Alright, I am using a Nikon remote with this. Just the basic remote. Nothing special. It is the ML L3. Let me get more light on it. Okay. Yeah. You can't see. <laughs> it's too close. But yes, it's the ML L3. Basically, it's just the remote that is a generic remote. Nothing big. Um, <clears throat> the nice thing about these cameras is that since they're so old, um, you can actually get things cheaper for them. That is the good thing. And they still shoot pretty good pictures. Um, so as you can see, the moon moved again. Let me go ahead and move it over a little more. And I'm going to shoot the picture and show you what I get. Okay, using the remote. There it is. Okay, so you look at that beautiful moon right there. Look at that gorgeous moon. You guys can get the same kind of picture. Easy peasy. You just have to have a long lens. Okay, and I have a lot of light around me. A lot. And you just need to set up your camera. Um, if you want more light, like I said, just change your I, um, not your ISO, but your f-stop and shutter speed. And you can just play around with it. Um, right now it is up there. Um, it's nicer when you get the moon at like the beginning of its phase. Um, well actually I wouldn't say that because you can see the moon during the day sometimes. So basically when the moon is just co um, coming up from the horizon line, um, that way you can see um, different phases of it. And I would definitely say that the moon is definitely bigger when it's first coming up. Um, you can also download um, uh, astrology, uh, not astrology, but um, what's it called? Apps to see where the moon is and where different stars is, are, where different stars are in planets. That helps a lot when you're doing this kind of stuff. So on your phone, go ahead and I would go ahead and do that. That, that definitely helps quite a bit. Um, you know, uh, what else can I say? I mean, you're gonna have fun doing this, and I would definitely encourage everyone to try to do it in different spots, different time phases. Um, you know, try to get it to where you see the moon um, in different colors as well, because there's different different colors of the moon for sure uh, you know there's beautiful harvest moons that come up in the fall um, I've seen red moons um, there's blue moons and you know they're not exactly blue when they come up they're more of a white blue it's very very cool um, <clears throat> astronomy is fun uh, I would love to get more into it in fact in the future I'd love to buy a telescope to be able to attach my D7000 to it and be able to take really cool pictures of um, different planets and stuff because you can do that. Um, they do make a Nikon attachment which is really cool. Just play around. I'm telling you guys, you will be happy with the outcome of this camera. It is awesome. The ability, you know, I mean, for how cheap these things are, it's kind of amazing. You can get the quality that you can get with all the definition. That's awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Look at the phase of it. You can see the outline of it on the side. Gorgeous. Just keep shooting, guys. <clears throat> um... Uh, yeah, when you're doing this kind of photography, for this, it has to be a really bright subject. Um, and you're in the middle of an area that's like a city. You should be good. So, no worries there. 
shoot away, see what you can get, and yeah, you're not going to be disappointed. If I can do this, anybody can do this. Um, and to be honest, I have been out of the photography game for a bit. Um, I had to look this up again to see if I was doing it right. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, it just, you know, it, it's not hard. It's not hard. So, it's, it's, it's good, guys. You can do it. Um, I'm freezing right now. So... Alright guys, so if I can do this, you can do this. Like I said, I've been out of the photography world for a bit, unfortunately, because of work and all the craziness going on. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, it's easy. It's easy. Just set your camera up to the settings um, that you feel like work for you. Remember, you can change your, your f-stop and your shutter speed to accommodate what light you have. Um, you know... And just remember how lens how lenses work. Uh, you know, there I know you guys. Some of you guys are not amateurs, but there are amateurs out there. You know that just got this camera or that um, are just learning photography. Um, you know, uh, photography is a little bit scientific if you, if you look into it. Um, it all goes by a perfect photo. It goes by the rule of thirds. And I'm not going to get into that right now because it's a big discussion. But the thing is, is that um, it's just how life is. If you look at every little thing in life, um, you know, the rule of thirds plays a big part in everything. Um, <clears throat> but with this camera, definitely win-win on everything. Um, check it out. If you don't have it, get it. It's a great camera. Like I said in my last video, you can get them really cheap and you won't be disappointed. Um... What else am I missing? I feel like I got everything. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope that um, everything is well in your lives. Um, I, I thank you for watching my videos and checking everything out that I've uh, posted. Um, I'm just getting more into my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get into videoing myself and making sure I'm covering everything. If I didn't cover everything, please ask questions. Um, I'd like to know what you guys um, are concerned about, you know, if there's something I missed, I'll, I'll go ahead and post that in my comments, um, <clears throat> or I'll respond to you in my comments, <laughs> sorry, um, and, and, uh, we'll figure it out, okay, um, yeah, alright, thank you for watching, guys, take care.